please vote for us at the Football Blogging Awards. We have made the finest. We will be going to the Etihad on May the 9th. We will be in the room of the biggest and best football YouTubers around. We are up for the Best New Content Creator Award. You can vote by clicking the link in this description. Head over to the Football Blogging Awards website. Pop the Magpie channel in the Best New Content Creator box. You can fill in for everyone else if you want to, but you don't have to. You can click Not Sure and go all the way down. Click Vote Now. Or you can vote via Instagram. You can click on the best new content creator picture and tag at the Magpie channel in there. You can also do it on Twitter as well. So take your pick. Please vote. Much appreciado. Cheers, everyone. And enjoy yourself. PD Prologue, Newcastle 3, Southampton 1. Was that a bit easier than we expected today? First off, we were very comfortable in that game, I thought. Perez, Hatrick, hero. First ever Hatrick for the club. Another 10 hour 10 performance. Setting off, we started to slack off a little bit, and uh, Southampton were really coming out, with, particularly when they made two changes uh, in the second half. So they must have got right talking to it half time. So we desperately needed that third goal to make sure the game was put to bed, mm. which I was happy on. And uh, we're sitting on 41 points, and uh, it's great to get to 41 points, even though fans might be sick of it. What we'll happened to do this for God knows how many times now, but um, unfortunately, it's what we'll have to do since Mike Ashley's. Um, in charge of our club but I think majority of fans would have definitely taken going past 40 points this season considering that our season was looking pretty doom and gloom at the beginning particularly when we didn't pick our first win until about November uh, After 10 games with no win it looked like a very doom and gloom start and Matt Ritchie picked on it yourself before the game and said you know a lot of people picnic has to go down so is it wonders by Rafa to keep this side up now that's pretty much guaranteed safety? Oh yeah, because we've got a, definitely a top class manager in, the, in, in this club. I think the signing of Almiron has changed my team as well, so lucky we needed that little e bit of extra quality. And um, I hope his injury is not too serious as well. Also the same with Shaw, both of them going off injured. Mm. So just hopefully, because uh, hopefully I was dying for Almiron, hopefully we get a goal at some point this season. But if he is going to be out for the rest of the season, hopefully we'll see goals from him next season. I mean a lot of people have been critical of Almiron. I said the day before the game I, I, I tipped him to get his first goal for Newcastle. He obviously didn't do that and a lot of people have said well why? Well he hasn't really done much. He's been bang average since he came in. What, what do you make of his impact as a sign of the club? I think he's done very well. I know there's a lot of critics saying oh we're playing him out position, we're playing him on the left hand side uh, midfield but I think he's great for pace. I think he's definitely one of trouble defenders particularly when you look at him at the ball. He looks quick on the ball and the way he can go past people. Definitely a promising lad, mm. in my opinion. And Iose Perez obviously turned up at the right point mm. of the season again, scored some vital goals to keep up. Do you think he'll be in a Gaza player next season? Oh, I Did think he, he will be, yes. He said he fancies going back to Spain, doesn't he? Well, yeah, definitely he does, but is he on that level yet to go to a top class Spain side? I'm not too sure, but I think he will be here next season. Mm. I think he will be. Mm. And will Rafa be here? I'm still on two minds of that in my opinion I'm still half and half but I'm really in a hoping he will stay hopefully Mike Ashley does give him what he wants but when you hear stuff that Lee Charlie's getting a double pay rise absolutely stinks in my opinion how <laughs> does he get a double pay rise in my opinion Lee Charlie is one of those puppets that goes on what you call Mike Ashley's hand so then Mike Ashley tells him to speak when he tells him to in my opinion but as I said, I hopefully I'm in two halves. Even if the like depends if we make any money, TV money, and any sales of transfers, it'd be great. Like if the set of Rafa, right? You go and take that, and go and bring whoever you want in. A bit similar to what uh, Liverpool did with there uh, when they sold Coutinho last year, back in January 2008. They like set the club. You take that money. You can go get who we want, and they're challenging for the title. If they give Rafa that, I think he'd be happy. I think that'll please Rafa if they give something like that one. All right, cheers, mate. No problem, cheers. Thank you.